Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name's Amy and I am the owner and creative director of The Stamp Market. And I'm excited to be with you today to share one of our fun new holiday products that we have called Merry and Bright Collection. What we have is six 12 by 12 pattern papers. They're double sided. So you get 12 amazing patterns and I'm gonna show you how to do a few fun things with this for the holidays besides memory keeping. And I'm gonna share with you how to fold that paper into these fun little gift boxes. These are so great for treats or very small gifts. And also I'm gonna share with you a fun way to give this early to your friends and family full of tags so they're ready for the holidays and they can share a little handmade goodness. And then we're going to make a couple simple cards using the colors from the collection. Because really, is it ever too early to get ready for the holidays? So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start by showing you guys how to make these adorable little gift boxes using our 12 by 12 um, pattern papers. So let's get started. Okay, you're going to need a trimmer. I use the Fiskars trimmer. And what we're going to do is actually we only need an eight and a half by 11 sheet for that size box. So we're going to trim this down and just go ahead and save those extra pieces. So you have a fun eight, just eight and a half by 11. Then you'll still need your trimmer to do some scoring or you can grab a scoring tool if you prefer, but I'm just going to go over to one and a quarter inch and we're going to score one and a quarter inch from the bottom on both sides. Just lightly score that with a bone folder. Set that off to the side for a second. And as you can see, there's a score line. Take your bone folder and fold those in. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to fold one side over to where the flap ends like this. So you're covering up that whole inside pattern so it looks like that. And then unfold that side and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, now what you've created are four creases, one, two in the center, and on the ends. So it kind of folds up. You can kind of start to see how that's gonna become a box. Now, what you'll need to do next is you'll need to score again, same exact one and a quarter, because this is the depth of the box all the way around. So you're gonna do it to the one side. Now you're gonna do it to the other long side. So all four sides have a score line, and then there's two in the center. Now, where, what that does, okay, now that you have all the score lines in, you're going to, on each long side, you're going to cut at the score line. So you're cutting four slits on each side. Now don't cut these and the short ends. Flip it over, cut the long end. Okay. Now I'd actually I'm actually gonna do the striped side just so you can see another pattern since I've already shown you the Merry and Bright which is so cute and one of my favorite patterns in the mix just because of the mix of colors. It's definitely a twist on the traditional Christmas colors with that extra pop of pink and yellow in there. So we're going to go ahead and now what you want to do is you just want to assemble 
you want to put the little flaps to the inside so we're just going to add some glue just adding a little bit of adhesive to those tabs i just do one side at a time you'll line it by squaring it up like that square that up square that up Now let's do it again on these two. Okay. And there you have the perfect little gift boxes. One of the fun things to do for the holidays before, like in November, a really great time as people are prepping for the holidays it's really fun to give a box and fill it with just gift tags and how fun for them to open that up and see another pattern inside and what i've done here is i've just stamped and embossed on all the colors from the collection i've die cut some tags i've also just stamp merry and bright on all the little tags so i'm going to show you how to quickly make these tags they're very simple we are going to i've die cut the tags already from our tag to die and we're going to use our merry and bright set which coordinates with the paper perfectly so I want to show you one of my favorite techniques. It's actually just extremely basic and something that I feel when you're in a pinch for time really helps you during the holidays. I love to use a piece of colored cardstock and emboss in white. What it does is it allows you to really add in that color without a lot of extra. We carry an amazing embossing pad, nice firm foam, just like the Versamark pads. What this, why I love this so much is it really makes it easy to pick up the detail of these fine line stamps. So just go ahead, stamp that down, give it a little bit of pressure, make sure you get all those lines. Then we're going to sprinkle with the embossing powder and you'll see how fun it is to watch this white just really pop off the color. I mean, how fun is that? Just simple, easy. And then what I love to do is just grab a little bit of just some crochet thread or white twine, whatever you have. You tie that through. And you can make these in all the colors and then attach one to the cute little box just for that fun little coordinating element. And there you have just a super easy gift box that you can customize using any of your pattern papers. So using our Merry and Bright stamps that I wanna show you how to layer both of these images, but also how to get a multicolored greeting out of a single stamp where the letters aren't separate. It takes a little bit of effort, but it is so worth the result. Okay, what you'll need for this is you will need a stamp positioner tool and you'll need to get, this is our premium white card stock. I've cut the front, a card front down and I always take about an eighth of an inch off because I like a little border on the front. So I'm gonna lay that down. Then what I'm going to do is line up the stamp. You don't wanna ever really split a card in half, so just lower, so just below half. Now the trick to this is you're going to actually need to make sure your card base doesn't move so it lines up every time so make sure you have some good magnets but you need some post-it notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by covering up all the letters around the first letter which is an M. And then I'm going to take my ink pad starting with Cherry Kisses and I'm just gonna tap that down. When you pull this off, you wanna just double check. I always just use my finger to make sure I didn't get any excess anywhere. And then I'm going to stamp down the letter M. And there you have your 
start of your colorful greeting card. Then I just use a little squeegee rag to clean that off good. You wanna make sure you have to clean in between each color. Then I take a new post-it note and I'm gonna mark off everything, make sure it's covered up all around the letter E. And I'm just going to do this for each letter. Next is blush. Take those off. Then I'm going to speed up the process here so you can see it, but without having to watch it in regular speed. Okay, adding the last letter for this fun, merry and bright greeting card. Cute. There you have the base of your card. Now we're going to add the detail layer with some embossing. So we're gonna remove this. So we're gonna just lay that on top. Now the idea is that this is offset just a little bit, but if you don't like that look, feel free to line it up, but that's kind of the beauty of this. It's just a trendy thing right now. Um, and it's kind of nice that you don't have to line it up perfect. You want to offset a little bit. Now grab that. Okay, then take our awesome embossing powder. I mean embossing pad ink that up then you're going to lay that down and for this one we're going to use a detail silver emboss to really pop and sparkle um, just using a wow detail silver which we do sell these wow embossing powders on our website as well just so it's a nice easy one stop tap that off Make sure it's clean. Okay. Then you're gonna go ahead and attach that in a quarter by five and a half card base. And then I've used our holly and berry dye. And I've die cut this in the forest and the fresh pink for the berries, just to give it a fun little accent. And there you have a fun, merry and bright card for the holidays. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this simple see-through. So it's a little peek through. Christmas card, the inside, we're just using that merry and bright greeting again. Just want to show you how to really get the most out of those stamp sets. Those greeting sets really can go far. So this is one of our fun techniques using our quick strips die. We have a half inch quick strip die. Let me share with you how easy it is to make a card like this. So what we're going to do, we've cut out strips in each of the colors. We have red, we have peony, bubblegum, our new cotton candy, citrine, tropic, greenery, and our new forest as well. And that creates kind of a fun Christmassy rainbow effect that actually still coordinates with the, the Merry and Bright collection. Now what you're gonna do is just take a card front, this is four and a quarter by five and a half, and you'll just wanna run a strip of adhesive, start a little ways from the top, just so your stripes are somewhat centered. And then just start arranging those in order. And I like to do more of a rainbow spectrum, but feel free to arrange those however you think is beautiful. It's fun to kind of do the darks to the lights in the reds and pinks, and then move into your orange, yellow, green, blue, purple spectrum.
One thing I love about paper crafting is you can just kind of break the rules when it comes to colors. I mean, these days I don't think that Christmas is all about the traditional red and green. It's really fun to add in splashes of other colors and it's just really a nice little surprise, especially in the mail. So that's what you have. You kind of have that lined up. Then you're going to just flip your card over easily and you're just going to trim those right off the edge just so lines up on the front super easy and there you have a cute stripe card which you could do so many different things with but one technique that i love is because you get two for one we're going to take our dotted tree die and we're going to die cut that just this piece out of the center. Okay, so we've run that through the die cut machine and what we end up with is two. So make sure, see what just happened? There wasn't enough adhesive on this little piece. So just really make sure you get enough adhesive on those or you, you, will you can lose those little stripes once they're die cut. So you end up is this the card front, and then you have this fun little tree as well. Set that little tree off to the side, and I'll show you what you can do with that. Then you're going to attach your card front. And I've trimmed off about an eighth of an inch all the way around just to allow for a little edge. And then I'm going to offset mine just a little bit so we have a fun little shadow happening. And then we're going to stamp the greeting. And now you're going to stamp the Mary, the outline Mary again and emboss it just like we did on those other two projects. Just like that. And if you would prefer, you can add some fun color. You could even drop in some pencil, some watercolor, some ink, whatever your preference. We have these fun enamel dots in all of our color crush colors. So I've added a little red bubble gum and citrine just for a little pop of color. And there you have some fun, merry and bright projects. I hope you had fun today making things merry and bright. Now you can head on over to our website, thestampmarket.com. And there you'll find a variety of crafting supplies from stamps and dies. We have an amazing array of colored cardstocks inks that perfectly coordinate with some fun embellishments. And we really hope that you'll take a minute and go check it out.